hello everyone in this video i shall discuss the solution of question number 43 of gate physics 2018 this is a numerical answer type question for the transformation capital q equal to root 2 into root small q into e to the power minus 1 plus 2 alpha into cos small p and capital P equal to root 2 into root small q into e to the power minus alpha minus 1 into sine small p to be canonical. We need to find out the value of alpha. Here alpha is a constant. Let's solve this question. The Poisson's bracket of small q and small p is equal to 1. Now if the transformation given by these two equations is canonical then the Poisson's bracket between capital Q and capital P will also be equal to 1. Then we have this equation here capital Q is equal to root 2 into root small q into e to the power minus 1 plus 2 alpha into cos small p. So the partial differentiation of capital Q with respect to small q is equal to root 2 into half into q to the power minus half into e to the power minus 1 plus 2 alpha into cos small p and the partial differentiation of capital Q with respect to small p is equal to minus root 2 into small q to the power half into e to the power minus 1 plus 2 alpha into sine small p capital P is equal to root 2 into root small q into e to the power minus alpha minus 1 into sine small p. So the partial differentiation of capital P with respect to small q is equal to root 2 into half into small q to the power minus half into e to the power minus alpha minus 1 into sine small p. The partial differentiation of capital P with respect to small p is equal to root 2 into small q to the power half into e to the power minus alpha minus 1 into cos small p. Now if the transformation mentioned in this question is canonical then the Poisson's bracket of capital Q and capital P is equal to 1. Putting the values of the partial differentiations in this expression and after doing some simplification we get e to the power alpha minus 2 into cos square small p plus e to the power alpha minus 2 into sin square small p is equal to 1. Now cos square small p plus sin square small p is equal to 1. So we have e to the power alpha minus 2 equal to 1. Now 1 can be written as e to the power 0. From this equation we get alpha minus 2 equal to 0 or alpha equal to 2. So the correct value of alpha is 2. So the value of alpha is 2.